Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday. It is March 30th, 2021. Um, so, what I'll show you the update. Um, these guys have been transferred out, transferred into this tote now. Um, and the other ones have been transferred into the chicken coop, so I'll show you them. But these guys are still, uh, they'll probably be at least two weeks away before they go. Uh, into the chicken coop there they were you know I got them after I got the other birds but I transferred transported that or transferred <laughs> I could speak um, them into this tote so that they would have uh, you know more room so those are the uh, Rhode Island Reds all right so please excuse my dirty house because that's what happens uh, outside activities have taken precedent uh, with everything. So now we will go outside and we're going to head out here and I'm going to show you what we got squared away today. Um, I wanted to talk about what's going on. Uh, you know, now I'm going by the numbers that they're giving, okay? And here's the question that I'm going to, well, okay, so they're saying 63,000 new cases of the, you know, the V uh, have, uh, are happening every day, right? And, uh, but lo and behold, good news, they're, in the last week, uh, they've given the J uh, to 2.7 million people, um, at least their first dose. And uh, so... You know, the question that I would have, there's all the girls. Hello, ladies. How is everybody doing? So I'm going to show you guys what we got going on in here. Um, so the question that I have, and I, you know, I just, uh, I've, I'm always a curious person. How do we know, realistically, now let's think about this a second. How do we know they're being honest about what the numbers are, what the new cases are? Uh, you know, they're they're really amping up the fear, fear, fear. Oh my God, things are, you know, going to get so much worse because all these, you know, states are opening up and the numbers are going crazy and all this type of stuff. And like I said, I mean, I, I live in my little world. I do my thing. And, uh, you know, I'm not out and about all the time. I'm not partying all the time. Uh, you know, I, I'm home quite a bit. Uh, when I do go out, you know, I just go where I need to go and take care of my business. But, uh, you know, how do we know that we are not being completely played? I mean, that's just a question. I'm not, uh, you know, th that's just something to ponder. What's truthful? What's not truthful? Why the push so, so hard? Um, you know, that's, uh, again... I believe in questioning everything, always question everything, pay attention to what is going on, see what the game is, see what they're using, um, you know, as that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you here real quick, we're going to go in here. Hello little babies! Alright, so, the 15 other chicks are in here now. And so this is where they're going to be hanging out on this side. Uh, obviously, as you can see, they're quite a bit smaller than the other girls. And obviously, Goliath, he would eat them alive and they would get bullied. So, uh, but they were getting too big to be inside the, um, you know, the tote anymore. And this gives them more room in here. And they got the feeder and they can utilize that. And then I got their water over here. So... Um, it just gives them more room. They were just getting way too big, uh, you know, in that other tote. So, um, especially when you have 15 of them in there. Or like when you just saw the other, the the uh, younger um, hens in there, there's only five in there. So they got a lot, gives them a lot more room. Uh, the new bedding is down in here. And so that's a good thing. Uh, we're, actually, we'll go in the back and we're going to look. We'll see. Uh, I knew I knew today that my egg count was going to be down because whenever you have any kind of upset, 
with chickens, um, it is stressing to them. And so they have a tendency, you know, either not to lay or whatever the case may be. Uh, so, you know, with introducing new birds over on this side, that's one stressor for them. And um, then with changing out the bedding and putting new fresh bedding in here, um, you know, that is also stressing to them as well. So that definitely will affect uh, egg production. So, yeah, hey babies, come on, you coming? They're pretty cool, actually. I, I still can't remember what the dark ones, what their breed name is. If I find out, I will let you know. But, uh, now the white ones are the same as these white ones in here. Uh, same exact breed. So, uh, there's eight of those guys. I don't know how many are roosters and uh, how many are hens still. Like this guy right here, that looks like a rooster. He's quite a bit bigger. These two look like hens. Um, I, I won't know yet. It's going to be a little bit of time before I know for sure. Like this one here has got good size to it. So that possibility that that could be a rooster, I, I mean, I don't really know yet. It's way too early to tell. But like I see, look at the one, how small uh, Goliath is uh, doing his thing over there. And that's what he does. <laughs> but um, like this little guy here, I think that's obviously a female. I mean, look at the size difference. So that's why I think this one here, this white one, is a rooster. Um, just because of the size difference. But, uh, man, Goliath, please. I'm, I'm trying to uh, make a video here. You don't have to uh, show how cool you are with every hen in the hen house. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, that's where we're at with these guys here. If you guys remember, the bedding was almost all the way up to the top. Um, of the roosting boxes. That's how thick it was in there. So with now with having uh, you know that cleaned out it was a lot of work. I'll tell you what. I was definitely tired um, after I finished that up. So there they are. Everybody was asking about the babies. Well there's... I'm gonna leave that like that because I gotta go in and close all the windows um, a little bit later. But we'll take a look and see if we ended up with any more. And actually I can give you an egg count for today. Uh, yesterday, we ended up with nine yesterday. So, I don't think I gave anybody um, that count of where we ended up with that. So, we're looking here. So, I put new bedding in. Ah, oh, there's another one right there. Alright, I will tell you what our count is once I check on this other side. And I still may get another egg or two yet. It is... Uh, maybe not. It's getting later. Yeah, those are just the fake eggs in there. Okay, so this egg here is number six on the day. Um, and actually, if that's where I end up with the six eggs, I'm not going to be unhappy about that. Uh, especially with, uh, you know, the upset with them today. So um, it's actually a really, uh, it's a good number. So I'm really, really happy with that. So no complaints. But, uh, so yeah, it was a busy day as far as that goes, um, very tiring, <laughs> but, uh, so now their forecast for tomorrow, uh, they're calling for rain all day tomorrow, and then, uh, actually on, uh, Thursday, they're saying we're going to get a snowstorm, <laughs> so, uh, not a surprise, not a surprise, I'll be honest with you, but, uh. I'm going to walk over here with you guys. And then it's weird because then after that we have uh, we have a cold day then on um, Friday. And then on uh, like Saturday it's going to be in the 50s and then we start warming back up again. So it's just, uh, it's crazy. So Mom and Beck were out front here again, working on brush today. So they added to this pile, added to that pile over there. It's too windy uh, today. I would not do uh, a cook fire today. 
because it's too windy out. But uh, it'll definitely, I'll come around this way over here. So I'll kind of give you an idea. Uh, they've really cleaned up this area really, really well. I just need to get up in here and just go crazy with the chainsaw. Uh, this tree here is going to come out. Bring it over here. Uh, this is going to get cleaned up. That tree is going to come out. All these little smaller trees are going to come out. This whole area, like I said, um, this whole thing can look like a little park in here if we get things squared away. And uh, so, like I said, slow and steady, but uh, good dent in it so far. We'll continue to work on it. Uh, to be able to get as much done that we've been able to do here this month is actually amazing. Because uh, usually March is not always as good as it has been. So it's been a uh, it's been really nice to make a, a good sized dent in this and getting things squared away. But uh, I had to get the things squared away today for the chickens. That was a priority. Uh, the um, you know I wanted to get them out there so they had more room. They were very too crowded in the tote. At that point, they were getting too big, and they were jumping out and everything else. So, but uh, you know that's uh, that's what happens. But they're getting there. It's coming along, slow and steady. But. Uh, I think we're going to have a very productive year, especially just getting things done, getting things squared away here. You know, that's all. Just like I said, it's just going to take time, hard work, and effort, but we'll get there. Had a great day solar wise today, which was also helpful. Uh, but, yeah, so anyway, I just, um, with everything going on, um, with what they're doing. Oh, somebody's coming up over here. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off real quick. I got somebody here to visit. I don't know who it is, so I'm going to do that. Give me one second. Wait, give me one second. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off. Remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Uh, also remember STD, step, thing, and day. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that's going to stop you from reaching those goals is you. If you stay positive and stay away from the negativity, you're going to be just fine. All right? Uh, very productive day. Got a lot of work done. I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.